Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated the 3rd of May 2023. Nifty snapped a six-day winning streak on May 3rd, falling in line with other Asian markets. At close, Nifty was down 57.8 points or 0.32% to 18,089.9, while the Sensex was down 161 points or 0.26% to 61,193.30. Nifty IT, metal and PSU indices declined nearly 1% each while Nifty FMCG and Realty gained 0.8% and 0.3% respectively. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are Hindustan Unilever, Asian Paints, and Tata Motors. On the other hand, we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Adani Enterprises, ONGC, and Adani Ports. They fell within the range of negative 1.89% to 4.21%. For the development in the corporate segment, we have A strong performance by India operations helped Tata Steel beat street estimates on all fronts. Although quarter 4 net profit dropped 84% to 1,566 rupees crore, it was higher than the analyst expectation of 955 rupees crore. Tata Steel's standalone EBITDA was much stronger due to better realizations and lower operating expenses. This drove a good beat on a consolidated basis, but the European business continued to struggle and was a significant drag on the overall performance. Auto component maker Minda Corporation has decided to approach the Competition Commission of India to increase its stake in automotive technology firm Prickle to up to 24.5%. On the other hand, the promoter family of Prickle, led by its chairman Vanita Mohan and managing director Vikram Mohan, who hold 36.53% in the company had stated that they had no intention to sell their holdings. Prickle and Minda compete in the two-wheeler instrument cluster business. Hindustan Zinc Limited proposal to buy certain zinc assets from Vedanta Group for $2.98 billion in cash has lapsed as the Indian miner did not get shareholders' approval within the stipulated time limit. The deal was announced in mid-January, after which Hindustan Zinc had three months to call an extraordinary general meeting to seek approval from its minority shareholders, according to Indian rules for listed companies. Ambuja Cements Limited reported a 1.6% rise in net profit in the March quarter to 502.4 Indian rupees crore, and an 8.4% rise in revenue to 4,256.3 Indian rupees crore, on higher volumes from an increase in blended cement. The bottom line was affected by a one-time expense of 80.7 Indian rupees crore due to a restructuring cost during the quarter. Its EBITDA was up 16.7% year-on-year at 962 Indian rupees crore, while the corresponding margin expanded to 22.6% from 21% a year ago. Godre Consumer Products Limited has plans to raise 5,000 Indian rupees crore from the market through the issuance of non-convertible debentures. The FMCG arm of the Godre Group, which is having a board meeting to approve its financial results on May 10 for the March quarter, would also consider a proposal for fundraising, the company said in an update on the board meeting. Engineers India in daily time frame is trading around 94.25 points with a change of 14.17%, and is trading with a net volume of around 39 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 83.35, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 81. An RSI of above 50 may indicate that the stock is in overbought region. Lakshmi Finance in daily time frame is trading at 137.25 points with a change of 12.27% and is trading with a net volume of around 191,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 112.85. Shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 77.31. Devyani International Limited looks good on current market price of 174.4. It can be bought at 175 rupees keeping target of 194 rupees with stop loss of 163. Tata Steel looks good on current market price of 
it can be bought at 110 rupees keeping target of 117 rupees with stop loss of 106. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.